Hello, what follows is a Statista demo video. If your institution already subscribes to Statista, I would urge that you tell your professors or your bosses to keep Statista because it's a very useful tool of research. And if you work for a private corporation that does a great deal of research, I would uh, urge you to do the same. That is to say, uh, ask or recommend to those who make decisions as to subscription of various databases to keep Statista. So without further ado, I will launch the clip of uh, the Statista presentation. Hello, today we will be exploring the Statista Campus License account. Statista is an online generalist marketing data platform that was founded in 2007 in our headquarters in Germany, in Hamburg, Germany. We have since expanded into other countries so we will be discussing some of the highlights of the campus license account, which include uh, full republication rights of all the content. So what that means is that you can reuse, repurpose and republicate this information however you see fit. You do have unlimited downloads within the account, so you don't have to worry about hitting a max. All of our statistics do have the original source linked to it so that you can continue doing research. We do offer citation tools in APA, Chicago, MLA, Blue Book, and Harvard within our statistics, our infographics, and our market outlooks. All the statistics are available to download in four different formats, PNG, PDF, Excel, and PowerPoint. Um, and we also do offer IP access and remote access as well, such as Easy Proxy, Open Athens, and Shibboleth, which is especially helpful for a time like now. So just to provide you with a little bit of context as to how Statista is obtaining and aggregating this information, we do that in one of three ways. The first is through our own primary research. This currently makes up of almost half the platform. We have a team of over 300 analysts who are responsible for vetting this data before publishing it onto the platform. So this is our own research and analysis, and we do provide a methodology. The second is through exclusive secondary sources. So uh, we purchase data sets and we have data partnerships where we strategically partner with different firms and companies, get their reports and publish it onto our website. And then the last way is through open source. So this is information that's freely available, thinking such as the US Census Bureau or the Bureau of Labor and Statistics. When they release their annual reports, it's not always easy to navigate. So our analysts aggregate that data and place it onto our platform in a more easily digestible manner. Some of the camp uh, components of the campus license is broken down into several different segments. So we have the studies and reports, we have the outlooks, the tools, and the statistics, which we will explore when we get on the platform. And Statista is a multidisciplinary platform. So we do have a really large range of coverage. As you can see, some of the topics here, we have anything ranging from agriculture to energy to media and advertising, transportation and travel. So these are some of the topics, not all that we do have information on on the platform. So let's go right ahead into the platform. Now, when you get onto the landing page, this is what it looks like you see the global number one data platform. You'll notice a couple of ribbons up top over here and the search bar as well. Now, when you are running a search, you wanna be as general as you can be just so that you can obtain the most results and generate that. So it's not like Google where you can go ahead and type in questions or sentences. You wanna be as concise as you can. Underneath that, you'll also notice a couple of ribbons. These are topics that are frequently searched and trending topics, so they're uh, included here for easy access. So for example, let's go ahead and take a look into social media. Now, when you select that, you'll be brought to what is known as the topics page. Now, the topics page is pretty much your one-stop shop for all information, so you'll notice on the main side, on the left side, you have a summary of this topic at hand. So this is talking about social media stats and facts. And then you do have links as well to the information that it's being pulled from. If you continue scrolling down a little bit more, you'll see the topics that are going to be covered with the statistics. So you'll see all of the statistics we have in the overview, all of them on leading social media, on usage, 
on Influence, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, social media marketing and advertising and data requests. So there's a lot of information here. So for example, if you're interested in looking at this particular statistic here, which is the fastest growing English language influencers on Instagram as of June 2020. Um, we are seeing the, the statistic itself. So functionality wise, all of the statistics have a very similar look and feel aside from the data itself. On the right hand side, you'll notice the da different download formats that you can do. So you can utilize it, you can download it in PDF, Excel, PNG and PowerPoint. You have the source list listed there as well. This is coming from Influencer DB with the source link as well. Um, if we do have additional details, they will be under details so you can see additional information regarding this particular survey or stat. And then some frequently asked questions that are general to all of the statistics. Now, coming back onto the data itself, you'll notice a couple of icons here. So these little grinder gears is how you can change the layout and style of the chart. So you can have it in line form or data sets so you can change it up. You also have an option to share this information, so you can share it via Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or send it in an email as well. Um, these quotation marks are important. These are where you can select your citation. So whatever citation you're working on, we have APA, Chicago, Harvard, MLA, and Blue Book. You'll select it, it'll change, and then you can copy and paste this. And then of course you can print this information out as well. All of these statistics that we have, we'll have the source listed as well on the bottom left-hand side. And if you scroll down just a little bit more, you'll have a, a, base, a brief summary of the statistic at hand. Alongside, you can see the analyst who is responsible for putting this together, the research expert. So those are pretty much what all the statistics look like. So they all follow a very similar format, of course, with the information differing. Once we get to the top of coming back to the top of the topic page, you'll notice on the right hand side, there's going to be a dossier linked as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what the dossier looks like. Now, the dossiers are available to download in PowerPoint and PDF. So I'll go ahead and start the download. Now, what the dossiers are, are compilations of 30 to 60 of the most relevant statistics that we have on a specific topic. This one, of course, being social media usage worldwide. So this is going to be worldwide information, not particular to a specific country. Now, all the statistics that we saw on the main topic page are all are, is going to all be here compiled in one report. So when you go ahead and open it, this is what it's going to look like. We have the table of contents, of course, so you'll be able to see all the stats. So if there's a particular one that you want to jump into that you already know you want to look at. You can just easily jump into that page and then it'll take you to that statistic. Now, if you'll notice, all, again, all the statistics do have the source listed on the bottom left hand side. It also does have a ID number. So if you are interested in this particular stat, you can select the ID number and it will take you to that statistic page. So if you need to cite this, if you need to share it or download this particular statistic alone, you can easily do so from that. And then towards the end of the dossier, you'll have references. So you'll be provided with a description of each statistic in here alongside the source and methodology. So you can have that information all compiled in one report. And those are what the dossiers look like. So again, that's linked to the topics page. And if you continue to scroll down the topics page, you'll have some additional key figures here. Um, and reports. So if we have any reports that are on social media, they will be linked here as well. So you can take a look at the different reports that we have some additional topics if you want to continue uh, doing research from here, additional infographics. So let's take a look at one of the infographics here. The infographics are similar to a statistic, but in a visual format. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Um, we have where do people spend the most time on social media? There's a summary on this particular infographic alongside links to where this information is being generated and pulled from. And you can also see the data journalist who is responsible for this. 
If you scroll down, you'll have the actual infographics. So where do people spend the most time on social media? And you can see the different countries listed and the time they spent on it on a typical day. Um, you can download this chart, you can share it as well, and there is a URL link for it as well. And if you scroll right under the infographic, you have your citation tools available here as well. You can also search for infographics by selecting the infographics tab up top. This is going to show you all of the infographics in the order of which it was released. So. Uh, we have about six that are released daily on the platform, half of which is in the U.S. market and then the other half was in the international market. And they're all going to be on trending topics. So you'll see a lot of information regarding coronavirus, um, the politics. So there's going to be a lot of information here. This is just going to be seeing it in the order in which it was released. Coming back onto that main topic page that we were working off of. If you continue scrolling down, you'll also have additional studies on the topic. So if you want to see a topic page specifically on Facebook or Twitter or Tumblr or Instagram, you can easily jump into any one of these to continue doing your research. And that is the topics page. We got there from selecting this, the social media um, ribbon on the bottom of the keyword search base. You can also search. So let's keep it to social media. If you want to search for it, this is what it looks like. You can filter and sort by relevance, by data publication and popularity. You can select a specific location here. On the left-hand side, you can see that it's broken down under statistics, the studies and reports, and the expert tools. And if you continue scrolling down, you can just continue filtering it out however you see fit, by region, by country, a specific industry, a publication date, whether you want it to be archived or not. Once you've made your selections, you'll refresh your search and it will refresh for that. So we took a look at the statistics, we took a look at the infographics and the topic pages and the dossiers. So you can easily search for any one of these terms by typing in what you're interested in and filtering it out. So for example, if I just wanna see dossiers related to social media, I can certainly select it and filter out. Now, something that we've added in 2020 onto our platform are the dossier pluses. Now, if we do have one that's on a topic that you're searching for, it will generate within the dossiers. So, for example, we have one here. You can see that this says it's a statistic dossier in social media. Underneath that, you can see a statistic dossier plus. So, another way that you can search for the dossier pluses is by typing in dossier plus a search for it and making sure you select dossiers on the left hand side. So we currently have 87 of these on the platform and we're adding more weekly. Again, these are also going to be on trending topics. So you can glance at some of the topics here. We have uh, the U.S. elections. We have sports, a social movement, Black Lives Matter, student debt crisis, extreme weather. There's a lot of information here to sort through. So let's go ahead and take a look at extreme weather in the U.S. Go ahead and start the download. Um, before you do the download, you do have a summary of what is going to be discussed within the Dossier Plus. So just to show you how it, this Dossier Plus just differs from a Dossier, is that it provides you with more context and it provides you with an executive summary. So it's not just going to be statistics um, and that's it. It's going to have a bit more of a picture provided so that you can come to some sort of conclusion. So we have a table of content here. We have an executive summary, so a little bit more of on how is climate, chi is climate change worsening natural disasters and discussing that and going into each category. Now it will be providing, there will be some statistics provided here as well. A lot of them will have text to accompany the image. So this is just to help you conceptualize the graph and what is being discussed. Again, notice that under each graph, you'll have the source listed and the ID number as well. So you can jump into these statistics and data sets on our platform. And this continues throughout the entire Dossier Plus. So it's really nice, provides you with great context to understand extreme weather in the U.S. and what that's been like.
Also providing a lot of summaries and executive analysis so you can get a better understanding of it. And this continues onwards. And once we get towards the end, you'll have the references. You'll have a glossary so you get an understanding of the different jargon that's used within this particular report. You can see all of the sources that were used across all the different statistics that were that we're, we put on the Sassier Plus. Some additional recommended reads since you are looking at since we're looking at extreme weather, um, just some information that we might want to continue looking into to continue our research. And then you also have the, the journalists and researchers who are responsible for putting together this particular dossier plus, and you can see what their expertise is as well. So uh, we have Tanya and Michael, and they are researchers who have expertise in energy and environment. And that is within the dossier pluses on the platform. Again, the best way to search for that is by typing in dossier plus and making sure you filter out to the dossiers. The next topic that I like to show you are the outlooks. The outlooks are a very popular feature on the platform. They are our market sizing and market forecasting tools. So as you can see, we have seven different outlooks on our platform um, and each one is going to be discussing something different. So some of the consumer market outlook is going to be delving into all consumer goods. We have the digital market outlook, mobility. So going into cars, motorcycles, different modes of transportation. We have technology, the advertising and media, the various different industries and country outlook, uh, country outlook as well. So let's go ahead and explore the consumer market outlook. Now they all follow a very similar look and feel as well. So you'll notice five different ribbons when you select the market outlook. The first one is the overview. So you see the different topics that will be included here. The market directory is where you will see their sub segments. So for example, with alcoholic drinks, we have beer and spirits, some additional categories under that, wine, cider, perry, and rice wine. We also do provide the methodology since this is our own re primary research here. If you download the methodology, you'll be able to see the formulas that we used um, and the approaches that were used to do the sizing and forecasting. Um, so this is a really great place to come to to refer to that. All of our outlooks have been adjusted with a shock of COVID. So that information has been adjusted and it is listed in the methodology as well. One thing to note, if you are interested in looking at the methodology, each outlook has their own. So whatever outlook you are in looking at, you want to go ahead and download the methodology that's particular to that market outlook. And then something fun is the release calendar. This is where you can see all the new or updated features that will be added to the platform. So make sure you select the category you're interested in or you can select all and you'll be able to see by date what will be new or updated on the platform. Now coming back on, let's go ahead and select a topic. Let's say we wanna take a look into the food market. Now the food market and the apparel market is our largest outlooks here. So we do have a lot of information on that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the food one. Now, when you select it, you can see the specific market you're in, the outlook, the market, and you can select a location. So we have 160 locations to select from here. You can either scroll for it, search for it, select by region. So whatever method you want to use. Let's go ahead and see. We, let's say we want to take a look into the food market in the UK and confirm our selection. Now, the figures will be adjusted so that we are seeing the figures for food in the UK. You can select your currency. We have 10 different currencies to choose from here. You can see the revenue and the average revenue per capita. You'll have a highlights here. You can see the market definition. You can see what is in the scope of research and what is not. So food supplements and out of home consumption is not going to be under the food category. And then all the consumer market outlook topics do have a segment report linked as well. So you can see everything that's here in one report. Now scrolling down, because we've selected food overall and it's a really large market, 
you can break it down and select it from the highlights. So if you just want to take a look at dairy products and eggs in particular, you can select that and it will adjust. Um, however, just seeing it overall will be nice because you can filter it out as they are live graphs. So for example, we're provided with the revenue and the revenue growth here. Uh, this is a great example to see how in 2020 those figures all shot up and that is because it has been adjusted for COVID. Now you can see that as well on the bottom left hand side. It says that the forecast adjusted for expected impact of COVID-19. So these figures have been updated. Um, you'll notice that on the left hand side all the indicators have you can download it in PNG and in Excel so you get these data sets provided and you can also cite this. If you're unsure as to what the revenue and the revenue growth mean, you'll also see a little info tab, which you can select, which will give you the description as to what they are. Now, again, like I mentioned, this is a live graph. So if you are interested, for example, we just want to see fish and meat but we want to see it out of the total. So we can go ahead and select those options out of our total overall and get those figures here. So you can change this up however you want. It is a live graph. You can play around with it. So you can easily search like that. Then you will be provided with the average revenue per capita an analyst opinion, the different sales channels. So both offline and online, the volume and the volume growth, the average volume per capita. Again, if you're unsure as to what this is, you can hit on the info tab to be provided with a little bit more info. The price per unit, and then the global comparison revenue, which is very unique to us. So you can see how the top five key players of this particular industry have done, as opposed to these um, country that you have selected. So we've selected the UK. It's number 14 against these top five key players under the food category. I um, mean, again, this is also a live graph. So you can hover over different countries and see how they have done. And then you will also be provided with a set of key market indicators here as well. You just want to go ahead and expand on anything that seems empty to be provided with more information. And those are the outlooks. Again, they will obviously differ uh, depending on the specific outlook that you are looking at, but they all have a very similar functionality. And this is a really great tool to do some trend analysis on these various different topics. Next, we have the tools, which is included in the Campus License International account. So I'll go over what these are. You have the publication finder here. This is going to be so this is not vetted through our analyst team. These are all third party studies. So just to let you know that this is not vetted by our analyst team. This is being generated and pulled from the World Wide Web. So for example, keeping to the topic, you wanna see some additional reports on social media. You can easily search for it here. You can filter this out by year, by different industries, by type, cover style, document style. Um, interestingly enough, you can also search by source. So if there's a particular source you wanna look at, um, for example, AT&T, you can select it, make sure you don't have anything in the search bar and see all the reports that we have from that particular one source. And yeah, you can see that social media generated 239,000 out of 3.1 million different documents. Um, you also have a note here that all these documents found are not validated by our editorial team. And yeah, you can certainly go through all the reports and download it. You have basic information that you can see just from the graph itself. For example, this one in particular, Social Media, Social Life, it's 72 pages was published in September of 2018. It has about 33% of charts. Once you select it, it's going to download in a PDF style for you to view. Next is the company database. So this is where you can come in to uh, see some financial figures for different companies. We have 1.5 million different companies, both private and stock listed, and you will be provided with their financial information as well within the company database. And you can search by company, you can search by industry and uh, country as well here. 
And then we also have the business plan export, which is um, a really easy, simple step to create a business plan. Um, the different topics that are included here are being generated from the consumer market outlook and the digital market outlook. Um, and you can download that. We do have a really nice detailed profit and loss statement that is provided there that you can fill out. And then we also do have a template as well where you can present your business case. So asking a lot of questions that you would want to have prepared for your particular business case. And then we also have reports here, which is an interesting to note and an important one. You can select by specific report category here, or you can go ahead and search the database. You'll be taken to this page. You can search in all reports. And it's similar to what we ran a search. You can just filter out by specific report type. So for example, on the left hand side, you can see the different, uh, you can filter out by country, by industry, language, and content type. So depending on the type of report you want to take a look at. So for example, if you want to see the industry reports, they are going to provide you with a macro view of the industry so that you can understand trends within that market and understand the health of the general industry that you are looking at. Um, all the industry reports have been updated to reflect COVID related information. So you will see how COVID has affected that particular industry. Um, similar to brands, we have it across various different brands like Walmart and Amazon. You'll be able to see the health of that particular brand, how they've done, and then we have the country reports as well. So the country reports, we have it across 160 different countries and they will give you country specific related information like the economy, their retail, uh, risk analysis and any other relevant country specific data will be included here. We, this one also has been adjusted to include how COVID has affected that particular country. Similarly, you can also see the dossiers and the dossier pluses and various different reports that we have available here. You can also certainly search for it by just the general search tab. This one is all just here in one place. So if you select country reports, you can generate all the country reports that we have. And that is the statistical platform. So thank you for taking the time to join and get a little feel of the platform itself.